by Big Game Miles Jackson and our sideline reporter while we have him on the table for this before he starts running around giving us some fantastic guests Orlando Galvillo. Orlando, a big win yesterday and we have a big game coming up with the Bay State Brook, uh, Brookline Warriors coming into tonight. Yes, Brockton, very impressive uh, the other night, Tuesday night in front of a packed crowd. Uh, Chitty, as we all know, big, strong performance, and um, we're probably going to need that again today against a very quality opponent. Miles, what do you think about this Brookline team coming in 2-1? They lost to the number one team in the state, Needham. Again, coming in 2-1, they had Christopher, uh, uh, Roy Christopher put up 17 in that loss for them. Yeah, Brookline is a legit top 20 team, as you know. Um, Brockton has to be careful with them. They look like they could be fast, so Brockton's going to be have to bring their A game again on defense like they did the other night against uh, BC High, where they beat them 73-64. Um, and, and really, for the most part, Brockton High was in control of that whole game, for the most part. And we haven't seen that in a long time with Brockton. Brockton could actually control the game. Basically, they controlled the game where they uh, where they made a mistake. They made it up by scoring right after that. Yeah, and, and, and again, they're, they're a top 20. They were a top 20. They are a top 20 team, BC High. The other one I'm, I'm waiting for, and I'm waiting for Forts to get hot. I love watching Lambert come off the bench, but the kid's got to put on some muscle. If you blow on him, he's going to blow away. You know, he's just a little kid. Of course, I'm kidding. Rateau, I'm waiting to see his speed kick on. He looked like he was just running the offense, a basic offense, nothing too, too, nothing too bad, nothing too crazy. If it came down to it, he knew how to work it in the Nawuso to get it to France, Francois. Right. So um, looking at the book, uh, book line side, uh, number 34, uh, Alan She had a big, big summer uh, this year. Uh, the offseason has improved a lot. So he's a big guy as well. So you got to be careful for him uh, because he could he could do damage inside. All right, we're going to step away and head into the public address announcer, followed by the national anthem. We're happy to see we have three officials in this Division One high school basketball game. sometimes make calls you may not agree with. With that being said, inappropriate behavior, language, taunting, or verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials will not be tolerated and will result in your removal from the gymnasium. We'd like to thank our sponsors for their support and generosity, and they are Teamsters Local 653, Woodward's Auto Spring Shop, Madison Food Group, Irving's Home Center, Giorgio's Roast Beef, Sign Design, Bethel Medical Group, Copeland Auto Group, JEP Realty Team, Brockton Firefighters Union Local 144, and last but not least, My Three Sons Diner. And now for tonight's starting lineup with the visitors, number two, Aaron Viola. Number 20, Caleb Haynes. Number 24, Chris Solis. Number 30, Seth Thompson. And number 34, Alan Shee. And now, for your starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number 15, Nathan O'Kerry. Number five, Marcus Forts. Number three, Nate Rateau. Number two, John Francois. And number one, Chitty Nuasu. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'm gonna ask that you please rise, remove your hats and hoods, and direct your attention to the flag at center court as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Who's 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Huh? <laughs> I was looking for a do rack. Hi, right, right, everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. Again, I'm Dominic Damiano. Big game, Miles Jackson. We start our 50th straight covering Brockton High School sports. Orlando uh, Galveo, he is going to be our sideline guy today. Miles does a great job. I love the way he interacts with He just brings. The natural personality of these guys. Yeah, a lot of enthusiasm by um, Orlando out there mixing and mingling with the um, with the fans here at um, Staff Gymnasium. So, the, the, according to the Boston Globe, uh, Brookline comes in currently ranked 12th, not including their loss against Needham last the other day, a Tuesday, ranked 12th in the state. Brockton has not yet to be ranked, but I believe. If the boxers pulled off what they pulled off the other night, they will make the top 20. Yeah, they have to. They, uh, MIAA are going to have to push them up there yeah. into the top 20. BC High was ranked, I believe, 20 going into that game. And um, they went overtime with Cambridge, Cambridge Ridge, and they're in the top 20. So we'll see what happens after this game. Hopefully, Brockton comes out again with their A game on defense. And if they can play great defense, the offense will come. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready, your favorite beverage. Hot cocoa is my favorite beverage when it comes to watching a nice basketball game. Stand by for a Brockton High School basketball. And on the tip off is she, along with Nawuso, tipped, and that's illegal. And we'll do that again. If you think about it, the boxes are playing with four and a half guys because I talked to our uh, French Watt. His ankles are uh, wrapped pretty good. Yeah, he, he tweaked it in that first game of the, of the season. Blue, <coughs> Blue ball, we got a violation against the boxes. So we'll have an inbound. That'll be Viola. They work it around strong. There's Viola now trying to work it down. They go baseline. That shot won't go. Tip covered by Brockton. Rateau using his speed we talked about the other night. Works it down back to Nawuso. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was uh, O'Kara down to Nawuso. Yep, momentarily blocked. I'm going to have to stand up tonight. So we have a traveling violation called against the boxes. Yeah, he might have moved his feet just a tiny bit. Johnny Williams in his second year here at the, with the Warriors of Brookline. Met him a couple years ago. Nice guy, really cares about his squad. Got blocked, and they're gonna, it's out of bounds, it's gonna be, it's gonna stay Warriors ball. Yeah, nice job by Nuoso to uh, get in there and swat that away. <laughs> Off the inbound. There's she, she turning, spinning off the glass high, won't go, rebound, Brockton, and here comes Prince, if he runs it, no, he kicks it out to Nawuso, now Nawuso driving, got it back to Forts, Forts now, he might drive, spins, lost the ball, got over to Rateau, Rateau top of the key, Francois, Francois looking, playing up that 
That ankle he tweaked the other night on the Boston College win. He's gonna have a foul prior to the shot. Yeah, nice penetration by, um, who was that, Rateau? Yep. Yeah, nice, nice penetration. So that's gonna be on um, Caleb Hayes, his first team first. Plus you're playing with that new, um, that new roll per quarter, five per quarter, you go to the penalty stripe and you shoot a couple. Off the inbound in the Brooklyn end. No score, he sees an opening. Oh, that's off. Took a nice clear shot. Here come the Warriors. There's a long shot, that's off. Rebound, Broughton. Now we'll show, we'll close it, we'll slow it down. Forts now running the offense. Over to Nawuso, trying to work it down low to Rattel, Rattel spinning, moving, kicks it back out. Francois, bang! You know, that's his spot, Dom, right there on the right-hand side of the um, court there, of the key, and he can hit that one all day. Now driving this, Hayes, he kicks it back out to Viola. Viola over to Salisi, there's a shot, that's off. Covered by BC. Excuse me, Brookline, and he has a chance to make a three-point play. Nice move by Shea, What's Alan up, Shea. Yeah, that was a good aggressive rebounding, offensive rebounding by the big center there. And um, he fought hard because um, he earned it. Nuuso was right on him. He really was. He earned no step bucket, yeah. that's for sure. I mean, you had Nuuso and uh, Francois on him, and he was able to put that in. And can't complete the three-point the uh, three-point play. Rebound Brock, and here comes Francois. Francois might try to run. He does. He goes high. I'm going to say it's off him. So we'll have another change of possession. It'll be Brookline's ball. 5.55 left in this first quarter. And one thing I was happy with the win the other day is how Brock was able to adjust to the press that the Eagles of BC High were adding. I know it's last game. There's a flow, that's tipped by nice. Nuso. Francois has a chance to finish. He goes back door, he can't. Rebound Rateau, he goes up and he's fouled. Wow, great hustle by the boxes there. Great defensive block by um, Nuosu. So Rateau will go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple. Very good three-point shooter. Oh, misses the first. This is something you don't see. I love his speed, the way he can transition from offense to defense. Very fast player. And it's very clean the way he makes that transition and he is able to finish. Hits the second. Here comes Viola, Viola stopped. Now over to Hayes, Hayes covered by Rateau, trying to make a move, almost got his, almost lost the ball, Force had the ball, now the ball's tipped. Oh, they're gonna say his last touch by Rateau. That loved great the way, defense. You know what I loved about that defense? Is the way as soon as he had his back turn, two more boxes covered his backside on that exactly. one. Exactly, good team defense. Our Francois on the line, he had the steal. Just out of bounds, another inbound, inbound pass for the boxers in their own end. Lost the ball, re recovered by Viola. Gets it back over to Sali. That ball's blocked by Nawuso. And out, that'll be Brockton's ball. <laughs> Love that, that defense. That's, uh Nuusu's second or third block, and we're not even six, seven minutes into the game. Absolutely. Fourth covered tight by Viola, gets over to Francois to Rateau. Off a pick, trying to drive baseline, lost the ball. We we'll say he was on the line. Yeah, tough break right there, because he did a nice sweet pass in the middle to um, Francois. But like you said, he stepped on the line. Now Hayes, Caleb Hayes, gets it over to Salisa, Salisi, Salisa, excuse me, long three, and hits it all oh, net. Oh, 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 Caleb Hayes snaps the net and gives the Warriors a one point lead, five to four with 4.30 left in this quarter, driving, nice strike. Rateau initially had it, 
But there goes Brookline. The Warriors going all the way. Viola. They kick it back up to the side. Oh, he almost lost. He did lose. Oh, Francois had it, but able to recover it. Wache, and they finish. And yeah, nice look by the big man. He saw the free um, teammate underneath. Reto. Yeah, he there traveled there. Checking in for the boxes is uh, Phil O'Gene and Lambert. Taking a break is O'Kara and Rateau. For the boxes, we're exactly at the four minute mark left in this first quarter. Viola gets it over to the big guy. She moving. Oh. And he used his body the right way going baseline. He did, he used his body real nice. Protected the ball and put a nice little uh, layup. Lambert now. Lambert gets it over to Francois. Francois got it by Thompson. Nice start to Wusso to go to the line though. Yeah, he put it up a little bit too hard off that glass. If he'd have put a little softer, it would have went right in. But he had the big man on him, so. All right, so he'll go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple, 327 left in this first quarter. He's got a soft touch at the three throw line. It's yes, a free throw line for a big man. Here's his second shot. Rockland's next game, eight till the 27th when they go to Archbishop Williams and they enter the BABC tournament. So they'll get to see a couple other teams in that tournament. There's a floater right hand, won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Lambert, covered by Viola. Good job going to his right. He stops over to Nawuso, Nawuso. Thinking about, oh, he looked the wrong way, got his pocket exchange and trying to finish. Wow. And he did. Well, now Nawuso knows. You gotta be careful, you gotta protect that basketball a little bit better when the big man's on you. Right at the glass and in. Sweet pass right there. Fellow Gene, good job staying awake. Trying to drive his Thompson, his fadeaway won't go. Rebound Brockton. Right at the glass and he fouled. Well, Rosu was determined after he got over half court. You can see he's taking this to the hole. Two on Chris, going to the charity strip again. He has a chance to cut into this Warriors lead with 2.34 left in this first quarter. Here's his first shot. Misses the first. I know what they're working on in practice next week. Well, for a big man, he is a pretty good free throw shooter. But like you said, the coach hates to, hates to see his players miss those free throws. Cole Horowitz, number four, the sophomore guard, checks in for checks in for the Warriors. Hits the second. He's cut the lead to three. Here comes the offensive lead of Viola, Aaron Viola, thinking about driving, stops his fadeaway. Blocked by Lambert! And out of bounds. Nice what job a, by Lambert. He was not expecting. Lambert to do that, because he was like a little nonchalant on his approach on that shot. Right, because exactly right, because he didn't think Lambert was gonna get up there. But he, but Lambert fooled him. What do we call that, education? On the inbound, Brockton has a chance to cut the Warriors lead to one. Francois covered by Horowitz, lost the ball for a minute. Lambert Smiley gets it over to Russo, and Russo driving. His floater right hand. Oh, that was beautiful. He switched from his left hand to his right because the big man was on him there and put up a nice, sweet, soft shot. Excellent adjustment by Excellent Nawusa. adjustment, yes. Hayes, he sees it's double teamed. Tries to kick it out. Lambert, great job by the boxes on that transition. Down by one. Lambert gets it over to fellow Gene. To Nawusa, it finishes. And the boxers have to leave 12 to 11 with 139 
left in the first quarter. Beautiful patient, patience by Philogene underneath and gave it to the big man. Hayes kicks out of Horowitz. Horowitz back to the big man. She, she's jumper, won't go. Rebound Brockton. Francis Forts. He gets double teamed, tries to work it inside, and they lost the ball. Then I'm going to say it went off. Went Brooklyn off Brookline first, line. Yeah. yeah. Good defense by Brookline. Ford's got to be a little bit more careful because this is a very quick Brookline team as well as Brockton, but like I said, they're a little bit smaller, but they're quick. Number 13, Joannis Balaban checks in. Joannis, I apologize, as I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Number 13, he checks in. And coming out is the other point guard, Khalib Hayes, who I thought, he only has one foul, but I thought he was running that offense pretty good. Maybe he's going to give him a breather. Yeah. Because he saw that Brockton made some substitutions. So, it, again, it's like a chess game. Yeah. Your opponent brings in some um, fresh fresh players, then you got to counter with some fresh players. It's, it's funny. I was talking to John French. I'm going to tell you what I told Cam last year. You look tired, your butt's coming out. Exactly. No wow. Bad. You got a violation. I love it. I don't like that call. He just blocked out well. He was aggressive, but gee. They called that on O'Kara. His first team second. Box is one away from going into the pet, uh, going into the bonus and going to the line, but we're approaching a minute left in this first quarter. Balabin gets it over to She. She now covered by Nawuso trying to drive, use his body. Great nice. job this time. This yes. time the boxers didn't give him a chance to work down low like he did last time when he was off that baseline shot and they double teamed him. Great job by the boxers. Yep, and, and She went over the top on uh, Nuosu and fouled him. Just a great defensive play by Nuosu. So why ain't they shooting? That's five. That's five, it's two and two. Yeah, it's two and two now. Yeah. See that, every now and then I pay attention. So the boxers should be going to the charity stripe for yeah. two shots. Yeah, referee's checking right now. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Almost like I know right what I'm on talking about. Every now and then. We'll write this time, we have a long season to go. <laughs> so Nuso will shoot a couple. He's one for two, averaging on the charity stripe. Actually, two for four. And that ball. Wow, that was kind of, kind of bricked up there, but yeah, it still well, fell. That was a dominant shot right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chitty will shoot a couple. Brockton leads currently 12. They want to add to this lead. What's up, man? What up? Hit them both. There you go. That's what we need. Talked about that last game. It didn't have no outcome, but it would have been nice to hit those penalty shots when he had a chance. Drive and lost the ball. Regained by, there's Balbain with a shot. And that won't go. Rebound, O'Kara. Rateau, Rateau's in the drive. Gets over to Lambert. Lambert for three, that's short. Oh, I saw that. Rebound, Brockton. Rateau for three. That won't go. Rebound, Brookline. Here come the Warriors, 20 seconds left, and we're gonna have a reach and foul on Rateau. His first team How third. How you say your name again? Devin Force. Devin Force, I just wanna make sure. I say, I don't say Devon, Devon. Yeah, his Devin first Ford. team uh, third in this quarter. We'll reset, of course, after each quarter. But the thing about it, they have to notice me, you know? Viola trying to work his speed around Lim. It kicks out five baseline, there's a shot. It snaps the net. Yeah, you guys nice shot by Seth Thompson of Brookline. Yep, downtown. There's a shot. Oh, it won't go. Rebound. Brookline. And that'll do it. So we are tied at 14 at the half. I know Orlando's standing by. Go! And when he's ready, he can take it wherever he is. I have no idea where the young man is. You guys hear me? Yeah, yes. go ahead. You guys hear me out there? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm sitting here with uh, 
2020 uh, member of the football Rockland Boxers 220 team, Devin Foots, who's now at Stonehill. Um, good to see him back here at Brockton High watching the game. How's your experience at uh, Stonehill College going so far? You know, my experience is going great. You know, I took care of business in the classroom, got one more semester left, had fun, had fun with my football thing, you know. Took care of business, you know how it go. Yeah. Now, let me get this straight. You're starting at, you starting at Stonehill at this, at this time? Uh, yeah, I started this past season, you know, had a successful season, couldn't complain, you know, stayed healthy, we finished 5-5, five and five. it was a fun year. You guys heard it there, that's Devin Forts, a member of the 2020 Brockton football team here enjoying the game, now at Stonehill, getting a good uh, uh, educational career, obviously, and also playing football. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. All right, there's Orlando, another great job by Orlando Galveo, as he does a great job doing the sideline stuff here in the air. We come out of that end of the first quarter. I almost said timeout, but it's the end of the quarter. Tied at 14 miles before we put this ball back in play. It doesn't matter if they put the ball back in play anyway. Your thoughts after one. Well, Brockton done a great job rejecting shots. Hopefully, that'll get to the psyche of Brookline, just like it got to the psyche of BC High, right. and it affected this shot. So we'll see what happens as the game goes on. All right, so here we go. Other way, second quarter, Forts now. Trying to go around Hayes. Stop, fade away, and all that. Oh, that was a beautiful stop and pop. He had two wow. guys on him. He did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He, he, I, I only noticed he took the shot when he, when, he, when he took the jump shot over the two guys in the blue shirts. There's a, a long baseline shot that short. I know. I could hear you, but I couldn't find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's Hodge now. Hodge yeah, now in the game, the big guy. Number 21 for Brockton. Forts. Hodge takes it back out to Forts. Trying to work around the perimeter. Covered tight by Viola. Work it back over. This is long shot. That won't go. Rebound Brockton. Tipped. Covered by the boxes. Also now in the game. Get to that gentleman's number in a minute. Cam Montero's father. See him with the and they lost right the there. ball on the break. Now in the game for the boxes is Mesa Pino, who did play JV last year, and he got called up. Oh, He's a nice big down. body to have in there, too. Yes. Yeah, they got two big bodies in there. Roto. Forts a shot. Won't go. Rebound Brookline. And here comes Thompson. Thompson trying to go around Rito. Kicks it out to the far side. That was now to the far perimeter. They work it all, all the way on the, the opposite baseline. In and out, won't go. Rebound block. Here comes Forks. Looking for a long three. Won't go. He had the rhythm, just couldn't get it to fall. Couldn't get it to fall. Now Thompson. Back to Thompson. Long shot from the top of the key and snapped the net. Brookline currently has the one point lead early in this second quarter. Little give and go there to him and Hodge. Hodge now thinking about it over to Rito. Rito running this offense with Forge helping out from the far side of the perimeter. All the way to the far side. Oh, he lost the ball. Tried to lead him down low to the far baseline. Yeah. And they lost, they, uh, lost the communication. It's all fixable. Yeah, coach was giving uh, Nuosu a quick break, breather. On a break. The big guy, yes! Oh, too much. I called him before he finished. I'm right, sorry. he was fouled. That affected the shot when it went up, but boy, that, that Rateau is so quick. Yes, he is. Fun to watch. So Nathan will go to the line and shoot a couple. Hits the first. He's, he's so, so smooth. He reminds me of Cameron Montero when he shoots from the charity strike. He's just so smooth. Misses that. Almost got his own rebound. And there's Thompson. Thompson works it over to Hayes. Hayes back to Thompson, top of the key, maybe trying to work it down low. He goes to the far side to Viola. Viola looking back over to Hayes. They tipped and another chain going to turn over for the boxers. 
Oh, Rateau had it to get the basketball. Yeah, uh, Rateau with his quickness on defense caused a steal. There's the one thing you were talking about, having the kids rest is Francois took a break. Yep. And coming out is, uh, that's O'Kara, who initially was a starter in this beginning of the beginning of the game. So tied at 17, 520 left in running in this first half. They work it around smartly to work it down low. Tipped initially, but it's recovered by Brookline. Balaban tries to work it down low. To, that was to Bacon. Around the perimeter they go, thinking baseline. Long shot. Snaps the net. Oh, and he hurt himself coming down. I think he came down on on um, came down on his ankle. Thompson, he's hurting. And that that'll be a big loss for the time being. He might come back in, but that's going to be a loss for Brookline there because the, the kid can shoot. So he'll take a shot. That's um, Thompson. Seth Thompson, a junior. So Corlett now checking. Aaron Corlett checks in for Brock. And let's see who they got going in for Thompson. That young man, he's in a lot of pain. Oh, you know what they just did? They put Hayes back in. So Hayes back in for the boxes. Lambert over to Corlett. Lambert looking. He gets double team, works it back over to the toe down low. Now we'll show. Yes. Wow. Three bodies were on him. And he twist and turn and put it up in. Yes, he did. Viola now covered by Rito. Their lead is one with 425 and running left in this first half. There's a fadeaway. That's going to be short. Now we'll show there to pick that up. That could have been tipped by Lambert. Lambert, Rateau was thinking three. Back over to Lambert, see if he works the ball down on far perimeter. That was Corlett. Now Wusser gets double team spins. Yeah, they were all over him. You had two guys just smothering on defense, but one of them fouled. Andrew Bacon will get credit for the foul. Their second in this second quarter. Long shot three, won't go, ball tip. Ball recovered by Horowitz. Nice hustle by Rateau. Now Hayes quickly gets it up to Horowitz. Horowitz back to Hayes, covered by Corlett. Far baseline over to Viola. Viola thinking about driving his floater right in. Too strong, won't go. Rebound. It is a rebound for Brock. And yeah. Francois picks it up. Nice hustle. Now. He's having a great, John Francois, right? Having a great Rito year. moving up a pick from Francois. He's going to take the shot. Lambert thought he saw something over the far side to pull that baseline, far baseline. Now, Uso. See if he drives. He does drive. He lost the ball, but they're going to say it was last touched by Brookline. Yeah, it, the ball hit. Uh, the proper thing to say. Ball hit the Brookline player, you're right. I almost thought it, it hit the foot of uh, Nuoso. I did too. I got lucky. I was actually paying attention where the ref was plucking this time. Inbound ball with 325 left in this first half. And a 20 to 19 lead for Brookline. Rato sees something. Bang! Uh, he squared up nicely on that one. Yes, he and hit did. the shot. Now Hayes. Hayes gets it over to Horowitz. Horowitz back to Viola. Viola, round they go. He lost the ball. Almost had a back foot, but recovered by Balvin. Balvin gets it back over to Hayes. Hayes driving. He's floated left in. And that's blocked. Beautiful. Here comes Rito. See if he comes inside. That's wild. That's about the fourth or fifth block of, um, of um, Nuusu. This half. Working around his A's. Tried to work inside. Nicely read initially. Colette saw that cutter and he was able, but unfortunately went off his hands. Yeah, that was great hustle by Corlett on defense there. Like you said, he saw it coming. In, now Thompson checks back in. Am I still good? 
Okay. And hits a three. So that, that's, that's good for Brookline. He's like he's okay with the ankle. The lead is one for the boxers. 2.20 left here in this first half. Lambert all the way over to Crowlett. Crowlett spinning. Lambert for three. Hits. That's what we need. The we reason need why he made that varsity team, right? Yeah, we need those outside shots. Viola. Thinking about driving. That's Thompson. Thompson works it inside. Little give and go. As Bacon has it. Bacon over to Viola. Works up to the far side to Hayes. And they're going to have a violation against. Oh, that's on them. Okay. Foul on 15. On 15, okay. I apologize, Andrew Bacon. Barlett to Reto, top of the key, using the pick off of Francois Lambert again. Ball loose, but oh, we got hit. And Nwosu got hit in the head. And no call. Nope. Four, the lead is four, 25, 27, 23. Viola, now Horowitz, back over to Hayes. And there's Thompson, Thompson covered by Lambert, he stops, smiley goes back, looks, there's a shot for three, won't go, rebound, Brockton, and his boarding list was something else in that one. Nawusa, ball blocked for a minute. Nice read initially by uh, Caleb Hayes of Brookline. Yeah. So checking in for the boxes is number 22, uh, Vernel Pierre. Pierre now in the game for the boxes. Fourth sees three. That won't go. Rebound, Brookline. Here comes Horowitz. Horowitz looking maybe for a cut. He works it in bids, a baseline shot. Oh, he lost the ball. He was thinking, to, I think he was trying to get it out to Hayes. And his momentum took him out. Yeah, there was a lot of intimidation there by nu uh, Nuoso on, on the shooter. And, and that really kind of caused the, um, the turnover. 40 seconds left in the first half. The Brockton lead is four. Lost the ball. On a steal by Viola. And right there to get it back is the big guy. Great, great job coming off the benches, Pierre. Someone's gonna inbound the ball. That's right. <laughs> Looks like Pierre will do it right in front of us. Another guy trying to get himself on TV. <laughs> 33.7 tenths of a second. S second, excuse me, left in the yeah, first half. Rockton should hold this for the last shot. Forts for three. That's short. Ball loose. Rebound Brookline. Uh, they should have held that out a little bit longer. Ballabeam now trying to go around four. It's approaching, shot clock is off, obviously. Approaching 10 seconds left in half. Forts almost picked his pocket, and they're gonna say it was last touched by Forts. Yeah, a little bit too much jib, uh, dribble by Ballaban. Jonas Ballaban. And now they lost the ball, trying to get over to Seth Thompson. Good defense. 8.6 tenths of a second left. Reto. Long three. Oh! All right, we'll stay right here. Let's go get Orlando on, get his thoughts on this first half. Guys, 27-23 after one half. Yeah, uh, very tough uh, defense out there. Obviously, uh, number 30, Seth Brown, uh, and uh, the big guy, uh, she, with the two factors for Brookline. Uh, that's, that's Seth Thompson. I'll tell you something right now, guys. You cannot leave that kid open. No, you can't. And uh, this, this Brookline team, 
looks like a more tougher team than BC High. They're much more quicker as I thought they would be. And their center's playing great. But Brockton just has to play great defense right. all the way through this game to, to eke out a win if they can. Right, I felt like uh, Brookline played the best they can play that half. But Brockton hasn't played the best they can play yet. And all three, and they're up by four um, here in the first half, so. Well, it looks like uh, one, of, one of our guys. <laughs> he's, he's thinking he might have hit the uh, raffle. The ticket, oh yeah. So, Orlando, as far as Brockton's defense, how do you look at it this evening? Well, it, we, there's been a lot of blocked shots. Uh, yep. Obviously, Nawuso been a uh, major, he, he might have like, what, at least six? Yes. Six blocks out there. So, defense has been strong for Brockton. They held Brookline to 23 points. So, uh, d uh, if you look at it, both teams are playing uh, well defensively, but I felt like Brookline played a little bit better, and Brockton can play better, better. than what they did. They, and, and, and you look at it, they, they didn't play that great, but they're up four. Exactly. They can play a lot better, especially on offense. Uh, but Brookline's been stifling on defense, too. But like yes, you said, sir. Brockton could play a little bit better on offense. You know what I also noticed? Rateau and not more Forts. Forts is pretty much running the offense. But you see a lot more Rateau. Kobe, Cody Lambert, nice to see that young man. He hit a three in that first half. So you're starting to see the little guys. We all know what Nabuso and um, Francois bring to the table. I'd like to see more of, of a carry to get involved. You know, throw his weight in there, use his force. He's a big kid. He's very athletic. I'd like to see, but the way they're running this offense, you can't complain. I mean, you're up by four. But it'd be nice to see these other guys get their confidence up. I mean, this is only game three. But again, I mean, maybe I'm just being too much too much of a home. I just like to see the younger kids get involved more, right? With that being said, I think Brockton's got to come out in the second half with a little bit more energy because you can't keep a team like Brookline in this game. Because you, as long as as long as they stay in this game, the more confidence they're going to gain. That could be trouble for Brockton. Yeah, exactly. And Nwosu seems a little bit more emotional this game. He needs to bring it down a notch. You can't get out of character because he's a very calm type of guy when he yes, plays. But yep. I noticed this game is a little bit, he's gotten upset a couple of times, um, sometimes with his teammates, but he needs to just tone it down and just play the game and don't worry about the refs. Remember, he did get an elbow in the head later in that, that second that, that, quarter. That's true. And, right. and, and no call. And no call. All right, we'll step away. We'll be back with the second half right after this. I'm with the uh, Brookline coach uh, Johnny Williams right now. Good first half. Uh, Seth, Seth Thompson, uh, dangerous shooter, and then obviously uh, you held back uh, Shea, Shea um, because of, did, was he in foul troubles or? Trouble. Yeah, our, our policy, our guys have two. We set him. We yeah, set him. He, he looked like he was a problem. So what is a uh, philosophy going into the second half? Uh, in order to pull this game out against Brockton? Um, we have to take care of the ball because we have a lot of unforced turnovers, which is totally unacceptable. Like, you know, we have a freshman point guard out there. He's making freshman mistakes. But playing against Brockton, he has to be a, a post-grad, like, right? Because they're going to capitalize on, their, on the turnovers, and they have a great shot blocker in the middle. With that being said, I told these guys, I was like, I know, uh, you know, Johnny's pedigree. He's going to go back to the locker room. He's going to make adjustments. So Brockton is going to have to come play as well to pull this one, as, uh, this game out as well. But thank you a lot for that interview. I appreciate it. Good luck in the second half. All right, so there you go. Lando getting a great interview by head coach Johnny Williams. Johnny Williams, again, Miles and I had the pleasure of meeting him last year. John Williams is a classy guy. Loves those Brookline players. I remember the team he brought in a couple years ago. They were pretty. They were pretty loaded. And this is another pretty talented team he has right now as well. Playing out of the Bay State 
Bay State League. Their only loss was the Needham game the other night. And uh, this team, Brockton, has been going back and forth, but I think it's going to come down. Who can hit the big shot with uh, eight feet away? And also, who can who can commit the least turnovers? Because it's such a close comparison for each team. Who's going to make the least turnovers? Yep. All right. I want, I'm dying to see Brockton's body English when they come out on the first half. So that's going to be um, that's going to be pretty unique, at least from my perspective. Yep. Not, you know what I mean? Because you know, body English kind of gives it away. So what Brockton has to do when they come out in the second half is pick it up a notch on defense as well as offense, yep. and, and they need to get some second shots. They need if they shoot that outside three. You know, half the time they need to follow the shot because oh, it's yeah. not guaranteed to go in, and a lot of times that shot comes right back towards the shooter. If we had a dollar for every time in the five years we've been doing the shaking our heads for not following, I don't want to say we'd retire, but we definitely go to a good dinner. You know, just yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so Brockton's kind of come out with Richo, Francois, Nawuso and O'Kara and Forts. I think one of the key factors for Brookline, can Seth Thompson, who twisted his ankle in that first half, but he came back in that late in that second quarter, can he um, keep it healthy and not re-injure it playing hard out here on the floor? And there's Seth Thompson right now. He gets the ball over to Viola, over to She, trying to work off Nawusha, uses big job and he wow. does. That was a power move right there. Yes, it was, and he knew it. He kind of looked over at Nawuso after he finished the move. Yeah. Nawuso gonna try to drive on the line via, let's say he was on the line. All right, here comes Hayes. Looking at him right at Salia. Salia having little problems. And he gets it over to Hayes, covered by Ratoma. They're trying to work off a pick, using the speed, thinking about driving, stops smartly. Long three for Salia, he sees it and hits it. Wow. Nice shot there from the top of the key. 28-27 as we're under a minute into this third quarter. Richo trying to work a way around Hayes. Back to Nawuso, gotta get that big guy down low. He's gonna try to drive. Lost the ball, but O'Kara was smartly there to pick it up. Nawuso now. Over to French, whoa, she's three. Rebound she. Here comes Thompson. He might try to run with it. No, he slows it down because Forch was ready to meet him right there. Trying to work inside on the line. We have a foul. That's on Francois. Francois. Yeah. His second team first in this third quarter. Off the inbound, trying to go into, oh, nice block by Nawuso. That was beautiful. Oh, on a quick break, Rito lost it. And huh, Rito actually, as he was losing control of the ball, was able to shoot it off two, possibly two Brookline players to keep it in the Brockton possession. Now on the inbound, Nawuso sees that's too short. Rebound, Brookline. Yeah, that's, that's, that wasn't a good shot. Viola, all the way over to She. She gonna try to work his way. This time, Nawuso wasn't given anything. Thompson, looking for a cutter, covered by Francois. He tries to move in. Steps back, works in the baseline to Viola. Viola gets it over to Hayes. Hayes sees three, won't go, rebound Brockton. That was great defense on that possession. It was, good, good job blocking out by uh, Nawuso. Rato. Brockton trying to grab the lead lip. And Coach DeBarrow smartly calls a timeout, right in like the body looks or the way that 
working in that offensive possession, he'll regroup. Yeah, Brockton hasn't found their, their niche in this second half, but um, where's our man Orlando? Oh, and there's Orlando, uh, is he, he's right there. Is he gonna grab mom? Feels like he lost mom. No, all right, so we're not gonna go. But I, I don't like the way Brockton's come out as far as offense goes. They playing pretty good defense, but offense they're a little bit, a little bit cold right now. And and it was a good timeout, as you yeah. said, by um, Coach De Barrows. So you got to put a fire under them now. You got to get a, how bad do you want to? I mean, they're playing someone just as good as they are. So it's almost like this may sound kiddish, but it's almost like you're playing yourself. Yeah, I I, I think they need to to work it inside. I believe. Uh, Nuosu should go inside a little bit, even though the big man's there. Yep. But he's been playing on the outside for the most part. But he needs to really uh, get inside that paint a little bit. Box is coming out of this timeout with Nuosu, Forts, Francois, Rateau. Watch that screen. Watch that screen. And Alcara. The Warriors are going to come out with Viola, Thompson, Hayes, she. And Salisa. Now out of that timeout, Forts. Oh, he got tipped. I think he was trying to work. He might have lost control uh, of the yeah, ball. Yeah, I think he lost control of the ball, Dom. Long shot, won't go. Rebound, Brookline. Sheila thinking about him. Already sees traffic. Shea trying to move on the Wusso. Not this time. Oh, great job. And Fritz almost took the ball out of his hand. Long shot. And hits. That's a big shot there by number two. Viola, Aaron Viola. Yes, Viola. Now Uso. Trying to go around Thompson inside. Lost it to O'Kara. He's got to hold on to that ball. O'Kara. A long, another long shot. And another hit by Viola. Yeah, it's the second shot he hit in a row. They have brought their lead up to seven, 34-27, with 4.30 left in the third quarter. Now we're still trying to answer. Shea just picked his pocket, took the ball right out of his hand. Hayes trying to, I mean, Viola trying to finish, and he does. Lead is eight. Rato. Over to Forts. Forts' jumper and hits. That's what the boxes needed. Yeah, boxes needed that one real bad. Hayes trying to go around Rato. Kicks over to Salia. Salia trying to make a move. Off the glass wow. and in. That was a classic power move to the basket. Lambert checks in. And Philogene checks in. O'Carroll will take a break. And um, looks like now Wusso will take a break. Body English is everything. It is. I didn't like the body English. Not at all. Lead is, set, lead is nine. Forts inside, Francois, Rateau's gonna try to drive. Turnaround shot, blocked by Shea, ball loose. Francois grabs that rebound. Nice heads up play, Forts. Yeah. Rateau driving baseline, moving, lost it off the glass, he fouled. Nice job by Rateau to get into that paint and put it up, and he drew a foul. Gonna call that on, on, on the big man, I yep. think. On Shea, his second. Team first. Yep, that's his third. Oh, that's his third. I missed one. That's uh, yeah, she. She. So Rato will go shoot a couple and try to cut into the Brookline lead. Hits and finishes the play. Now Viola. Oh, traveling. He know it, the young man know it. You can see it in his body English when he stops, like he's just waiting for the whistle. Yeah, Brockton needs a basket here. Make two in a row and get a little bit closer. 
Francois now Forts. Forts leading the offense. Three minutes left in the third quarter. No luck tipped nicely by the Warriors. Five baseline, we're gonna have another travel by Viola. Yeah. See if Brockton can take advantage of this turnover with 2.52 left in the third. Lambert ball tipped, but Rateau was there. Right now it's a five on four, we got a reach. Yeah, that's a good call on that reach. His third, team second, here in the fourth, here in the third quarter. Chance for Brockton as they take out some of their starters, see if the boxers can slowly get at that lead. Forts. There's a nice baseline look by Lambert. It won't go in and out, ball loose. And let's say it was last touched by Brockton. Oh, that was a tough break there. That shot went in and out. That would have been a big shot. Yeah, that would have been a nice shot to cut into that, that lead. We made yep. a four point lead. Four point lead, right. Viola driving. Wow, he looks like he lost control. They're gonna say that Francois hit him. I have no idea what plan that's on. Off the inbound in the Brockton end. She trying to make a move. Oh, oh Francois! Lambert Smiley driving, far baseline. Uh, uh, oh, they're gonna get Francois. You know, when you make great defensive plays, you hate to come back down and give it up on a turnover. Yeah, you do. 38-31 with 209 left. I mean, Francois just timed that block perfectly on the big man. Horowitz checks back in. Francois running like he doesn't have a bad ankle. He's hustling big time. He's picking up the slack since uh, Nuosu is, is out. O'Kara. Oh, Nice job by Francois. You just whoa, whoa. That. that was his God given ability. I don't know how that went. In. I don't know how that went in either. Rato to Forts. Inside the Francis. Francois turns around. Ball loose, covered by Hayes of Brookline. Now driving Thompson inside. Salia, that won't go, rebound. I think we're gonna have goaltending. Uh, oh, they're gonna call him for a hit. They're gonna call him on Francois. That's four. That's four on him, that was a tough call right there, folks. Yes, it was. That was just great defense by the Brockton boxes. And a tough call. So Salise will go to the line and shoot a couple. Hits the first. They've extended their lead to 10. Francois will take a well-deserved break. Hit them both. Lead is 11. Forts now. Back and forth with Lambert, top of the key. Rito thinking about shooting. He's gonna drive baseline. Bounce, look, goes high. Over the big guy, it goes! Wow. My goodness! And he adjusted that shot for the big man and it dropped. Almost like it was in the air when he made his body adjustment on that shot. Far baseline shot. And there's Thompson for three with a minute left in the third. Their lead is 12. Rato hits. Uh, he, they he need answers. him to get hot. Yes. He answers. Yes, he did. Horowitz trying to move. Down to Shea. Salia trying to move around Rato, and he does. Yes, not much he could do on that one. Lead back to 11. 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Fortress thinking about Lambert's taking a shot. 
In and out won't go, ball loose. Covered by Brookline. Shot clock off, 10 seconds left in the quarter. Watch the ball, good by Shea. He's gonna try to drive the big man and finishes and he's fouled. No, he's not fouled. Thought they called the foul, he better stop moving for a minute. Well, that was a nice power move by Alan Shea with just seconds left on the clock. 49-36, the lead is 13. And that's how we're gonna start the fourth quarter. I don't, uh, is, yep, and there is I'm sitting Lima. here with uh, Cam Montero's uh, proud dad, Jose Montero. Cam, in this generation, um, one of the best talents to ever walk the halls here at Brockton High School. And um, fortunately, he can't be on the court. We definitely will need him in today's game. But how do you feel as a dad? Well, I'm very proud of Cameron, you know what I mean? He's been here for four years now. Uh, unfortunately, he'd like to be out here, but you know, he'll be going to pit in a couple of weeks. So for him, he wanted to play, but what's the point of him playing when he wouldn't be helping the team at all? And you know, he's just here supporting them though. Cam Montero, a couple of hundred, uh, hundreds from a thousand points, he would have been the fourth player and uh, brought to school history to do it. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a chance to see that. But uh, we did enjoy Cam for a good four years on the football field, and um, hopefully uh, things work out for him um, in the near future. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, sir. Uh, back to you, Miles and Don. Thank All right, thank you, Orlando. That was a nice little interview. Yeah. I'm sure he's a proud papa. Oh, yes. All right, here we go, my friend. 13, uh, lead 13 as we start the fourth quarter, and here we go. Let's see how Brockton's momentum is. Forts, long three. Ball loose, Okara almost had, oh, Joe almost had a turnover. Nice effort by the big guy, they slow it down. But not driving a Salise, that's blocked. Rato might try to run. Feeds Forts, and he finishes. That was a beautiful fast break by the uh, boxers. And now they got the crowd involved. Finish the three point play, the lead is 10. Yeah, I, I think the, 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 what the coach is um, talking about is he, he feels that uh, the rule is you're not supposed to Blame mix me. in sound yeah. while, the, while the play is going on. Right. And the referees, referees are going over it. And they are gonna tee him up. Yep, so the sound, man, the, yeah, the sound man's over talking to the referee. Poor guy feels like a jerk, he didn't mean to do it. Hits the first on the technical. Hits them both. Yeah, Seth Thompson, he's got a, a nice uh, free throw form right there. He does. 51-39, 7.30 left in the game. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Off the inbound, here's Hayes. Covered by Lambert. Trying to work it to the far side, She Using his big body. Lost the ball. Now Wusso's there to pick it up for the boxers. 
Fox has got to make a move here. There's Lambert for three. That won't go. Rebound loose. Covered by Carroll. Finishes. Gee, I don't know. It looked like he was fouled there by the big man, but no whistle. Remember, there's three of them. Good defense by the, um, excuse me, good offensive rebounding by the boxes. Boxes trying to tie into the break, break their way into this lead. Thompson, Horowitz back to Thompson. Horowitz baseline, bounce pass. Thompson over to Shee, she now. Trying to use his big body. Could have a violation back door. Oh, no one saw Horowitz That was a nice in. play. It was. It really was. That was a nice play. Too many guys were focused yes. on one side. He just stayed on that far baseline and cut in. And that was the key. He moved, he moved without the basketball. Forts down. Long shot. Rebound. Brookline, here come the Warriors. Warriors. They work around the perimeter really well. Thompson was thinking, gets it down to Salias Lee trying to move that's blocked by Nawuso. Long three. Won't go. Not a good shot. No. Nope. Not a good shot. He really hasn't hit anything from the outside in this game, so he should have bought it inside. Thompson. You're gonna call that on Lambert. Oh, Carroll will take a break. And Lambert, his first, team second. All right, let's see if where um, around. Orlando is. And there he is. Does battery die? The MIA has been really exciting so far this year. Uh, Brockton's look good. Um, Brookline looks re really good tonight, but overall, in the overall scope of things, uh, it's been a good season. Very now, exciting. Now, we know you've coached in uh, high school, you've coached in college. Um, I'm mean, going to have to ask you, what's your plans going on uh, into the future? Oh, a a any, any coaching? I think I'm going to sit and I'm going to choose wisely the next job I do choose. I'm going to choose wisely. Uh, I'm going to sit and watch the kids, support the coaches, support the parents. I'm just going to chill, hang out, and watch the games for right now. Sounds good, my man. Thank you very much. Back to you, Don and Miles. All right, great job by Orlando. Good job, Marcel. 11 inbound pat ball. Goes in the block to end with 5.38 left in the game. They work it down to the far side after, after the inbound pass. Hayes. She sees it, won't go, ball tipped. And here comes Francois. Francois trying to finish, and he does. Uh, that's what they need. Great transition right there. Francois went coast to coast. Now Hayes, bounce pass. To Horowitz, back to Hayes. He's thinking about popping it. Looking for a cutter. To the far side, Salia. Horowitz, his long jumper, won't go, ball tipped. And Horowitz is able to block that one, right place, right time. Thompson now. Thompson looking over. Salia thinking about taking a shot. Over back to Thompson. Dr. Shea, that ball's most, um, tipped momentarily. Five baseline shot, that won't go. Here come Forch. Over to Nawuso, and he's fouled. Nice, nice play by number five, Fort. Dished it off to the big man, which he should have did. But good defensive play by Brookline to break that all up. Four on Caleb. So Chitty will shoot a couple from the charity stripe, trying to cut this lead to eight. That's a good start. Set 
So Kaleem Hayes will take a break. He has four team foul, four personals on him. On him. There's the second one. The lead is eight. With 4.34 left. Thompson. And he lost it. Threw it away yet. He's trying to get Viola. Miscommunication. Yeah, this is... Brockton needs to take advantage of this opportunity on the turnover to get two or three points. Retro to Forts, covered by Horowitz. Back over to Lambert, far perimeter, back over the top of the key, Retro. Forts has a nice look. That won't go, rebound Thompson for Brookline. That would have been big if he could have hit that shot. Crowd would have erupted. Oh yeah, that would have been big. Slea now over to Viola. Viola all the way over to Thompson, the far perimeter. She now all the way over. Horowitz had a look. He's driving baseline. Lost it. Kicked it back out to Viola. Shot clock, shot clock. Five seconds. He's going to try to drive with his right Ooh. hand and finish. Wow, that was sweet. Put it in his left hand and laid it off the glass sweetly. Now Forts leads back up to 10. Rockland had the lead down to eight a couple seconds ago. Retro, Forts, inside. Francois, turn around, won't go. Now Wusso, he finishes. Woo, that took a while to get around wow. that rim. Yeah, it did. Lead is eight. Nice dish, though, by Francois. Right now, they're exchanging right now under the four minute. That's backcourt. That is backcourt. I thought he was on I the... thought he was... Horowitz back to Thompson. Inside the Salia, that's blocked! Wow, Francois! Not today! With a bad ankle and all, Francois rises to the occasion. God bless him, that was awesome. Brockton needs a big turnover. It's open, the last four minutes left in the game, it seems like the Warriors in the box is just exchanging back and forth baskets. That's on Slayton. Boxer with a chance to cut the lead to six. That's why his jump are too long. No! 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 Tom, coach, oh, the ball's out of bounds. Up. Brookline's giving Brockton another chance to cut this lead. Box is going to take uh, taking advantage of these chances. Exactly. All right, here goes Forts. 2.33 left. No Russo. His little jumper won't go. Francois trying to finish. Won't go. Ball loose. Wow, tough break right there for Francois. Good defense. Tough break. Now Viola. Viola bringing it up. As, and Coach Williams in his second year did not like what he saw. Team was getting sloppy. They'll regroup with 2.17 left. Let's see if we can find Orlando. Orlando. I don't see him. Well, I, I tell you, that was a good timeout by, by the coach for um, Brookline, Johnny Williams, because he saw his team really wasn't clicking like they did not early on in that fourth quarter and the third quarter. So he just wants to make sure that um, Brookline can keep this lead up as high as they possibly can. Brockton needs to make some, make these shots. They, they, they played some great defense these last minute or two to bring the um, lead down, but they just haven't been able to get those shots. If you look at the shots, like you just mentioned, if you look at the opportunities they had with the Brookline, you got to turn those into points. you got to turn them into points, especially if you're down. Yes, sir. Got four left. All right, with two, uh, 217 officially left in the game, We'll try to get Orlando's uh, thoughts. Maybe we'll get an interview over with uh, Coach Barrows. We'll have an inbound pass in the Brockton end. I believe, no, I'm sorry. Inbound pass, yeah, in the Brockton end by Brookline. That was Thompson. Now Hayes back in the game. Trying to reach down below, and that, he finishes. Yeah, that was a breakdown in defense right there. Forts now. Forts looking, Rateau. 
trying to finish, got his own rebound. Francois trying to move his right, left hand, K did everything but put it in. Did everything but put it in. Great hustle, he did his own rebound, but good defense by um, Brookline, but usually um, underneath, Francois automatic off. Yeah. I wonder if there's something wrong with Nawuso because his body was, there's a long shot for three, won't go, off the inbound, ball loose. Covered by Thompson. That's a good one. Yeah, that was a good call. He's been using his right arm all game. Dom, finally they gave, they called it. Good job by Lambert, his third, Thompson's third. Yeah, great job by Lambert. Rateau. Timeout, timeout Brockton. Is this where you go to the press defense? Yeah, yes, you gotta do the press. You're down 10 points with only a minute and 33 seconds left. That's a chance you have to take. Um, battery died. You might as well join us for the rest of the broadcast now. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so Orlando will join us for the rest of this game. We had the mic on, but the mic died. Yeah, it just died again. Yep, just died again. Orlando, what have you, you been seeing these last few minutes? Well, um, the, the last few minutes, the uh, entire second half, it seemed like um, Brookline made some adjustments and they really put the clamps on, on Brockton High. Uh, very, very hard for them to score. They're having a hard time scoring, you know? All right, so Brookline's gonna come out with Hayes, Horowitz, Shea, Thompson, and Sale I think the Salea Boxes are gonna come out with Francois, Rateau, O'Kara, Forts, and Lambert. 133 coming out of this timeout. They gotta make stuff happen. Fourth is thinking about it. Works it inside. Kind of a foul. Yeah, they were all over Francois. They're gonna call that on Thompson. Four on set. Yep. Brookline has sat in his zone the entire game, and it's, it's hey. making it very difficult for Brockton to get any space in, and the shots are not falling as well. Yeah, it's definitely disrupted Brockton's offense, the defense, defensive scheme that Brookline has put into place here, like you said, since the beginning of the game. Yep. Well, put Brockton at the charity stripe with a 121 left there over the limit, hits the first. At one time, they've cut the lead to six in this fourth quarter. They just, I don't know, there's, there's got to be something wrong with Nawusso. I don't know if he took something personal or something, but when you have your hands under the hips and you're down by six, yeah. you know, you figure your body English would be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, he, he's out, but not because of an injury. Coach Williams has seen enough. He'll call a timeout with 112 left in this game. Let's see if he changes his personnel around. Brookline trying to improve to three and one. Box is trying to improve to two and one. Uh, right now, this, in the second half, you can see that Brookline, it seems like they, they want the game more. Uh, the bench, uh, for the bench into this game, you know, they're cheering every play, and um, just seems like uh, in the second half, they, they've wanted it more than Brock. Yeah, Coach, um, that can kill you every time. Yeah, yeah. Coach Johnny Williams did a nice job. Whatever he said to his troops in that half, mm -hmm. they came out and responded well, and, and Brockton did not respond to the um, defensive scheme that um, Brookline has put into place definitely in the second half. They just kind of frustrated Brockton. Tired game, it seems like Brockton's been frustrated. And um, I said at halftime, you know, when I was interviewing, I know your pedigree is going back into the locker room making adjustments. And at that time, Brockton was up 27-23. And clearly he made some adjustments. And um, looks like Brookline's going to get a well-earned victory. It ain't over yet. And I know it I sound It ain't over to the... To the fat lady sings. To the fat lady sings, right? It would have been nice, though, if we took advantage of some of those turnovers, though. Yeah, that was another problem. They just didn't take advantage of those turnovers that they um, initiated. Inbound pass right in front of us. 
And the foul. Well, uh, you hear the Brookline coach yelling that's five on him, so I'm assuming that's Francois. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Two's gonna have to come out. Francois is gonna have to yeah, come Francois out. Francois doesn't out. want to, but unfortunately his night's gonna end. Yeah, if Francois thought it was six fouls, but this yeah. ain't the NBA. No. I, I love that kid's. I love that kid's ability. I just, yep. He's got great attitude. He really does. Great physical strength when he's underneath the um, basket. Great hands. So Hodge will come in. Deshaun Hawes will come in to pretty much finish that. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they how they make an adjustment. Brooklyn yeah. Warriors are going to come into Brockton. This is going to be the third third straight year they've beaten Brockton. Yep. So um, Brockton can't seem to find a way to beat Brookline, It seems like. Not to sound not to sound like a storyteller. This is not the same team we saw up to BC no, High. It's no, it's not. Body English alone. Yeah, Brookline's done a nice job taking the crowd. We've got a good crowd out here this evening. Oh, yeah. And has taken them out of the game here in the second half, Orlando. Well, like you said, hats off to jo Coach John Williams' second year. His game plan and his game plan and his coaching staff are working to a T. Yep. Yes, indeed. Yes, they are. And it's, uh, like Dom says, this is probably the right time to catch Brockton off the big winner versus BCI. And yeah. Brockton looks kind of flat tonight. Off the inbound, right in front of us. Fort had a, that should be a jump, yep. Nice hustle by the Brockton guards. Looks like Brookline's gonna retain possession. Yep. It's been a while since we've seen a jump ball in two games. Off the inbound. Man, it looked now, like he was almost traveling there. Yep. Like Brock is going to have to foul two more times. They're going to call that. They're going to. What are they calling that? They're oh, calling well, that on. One more time. One more. Oh, they called that on. Um, on Lambert. Now they're in the bonus. That should put. Um, that, that might should, be one of the better guy, guys to foul for in terms of yeah. foul shooting ability. So Brockton did foul. Oh, they lost right about now. like nine seconds from the throw in. Yes. So right now, roughly rough guess. Here's his first shot. That's good for Brockton. In and out. Yeah, like you said, Orlando. This is who. This is if they're gonna foul somebody. This is who they want to foul. Right. Here's his second shot. That's the second. Lead is 10, Brockton needs to push the ball. Lambert for three, hits. They left him all alone. Coach Williams is not happy. They left uh, that wing. Left him open, left him open. Yep. yeah. Left that wing wide open. And, uh, They've covered that well all night, they haven't have. they? They have. It usually takes Brockton uh, four or five passes to get an open shot. Look like defense has been tough. Brockton has cut the lead to seven. They've had it at six at one time. So it's going to be interesting to see how they come out. You know what, overall, though, I mean, personnel and body English last year compared to now, I do like what I'm seeing. I do like they are a lot more upbeat. A lot of times they put too much pressure on Cameron Montero's shoulders. I think one of the key factors for Brookline was the big man early on in that first half to establish himself. Oh, Shea. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I, I, Yeah, I think he kind of frust frustrated um, Nuuso. He did. He also, and it just kind of took him out of his game. He did. He also hit him with an elbow. Yeah. But um, this this kid, he, I mean, the big man for uh, Brookline, he, can, he has a tough drive to the basket with the basketball. He's hard to stop. The only thing now is the boxes are out of timeouts. That did it for the game. 51 seconds. They had going. They had going. Prevent going. Excuse me. Press. 
Now comes Thompson. Thompson. Lambert fouls him. That's going to be four. He's not out though. It's only four. Lando, you said it right. They followed the right guy. It's the first. Hits them both. Look good on those shots. He sure did. Now here comes Rito. Rito. Lambert. She right there, read it all the way. Read his eyes and went right to the basketball. Yep, read his eyes, exactly. Forts. Hodge thinking about taking a shot. Forts needs to take a shot. He gets teamed. Rito thinking about moving inside. And that's blocked. Well, that was great. That was great defense right there. That was By excellent the big man. defense. Yeah. Excellent defense. 28.4 tenths of a second left. That will bring uh, Thompson to the line, I think. Yep. That'll bring Thompson to the line for the Warriors. Warriors will improve to three and one. The boxes will fall. In, in game three to one and three on a very, very young season. It's been a, a very frustrating night for uh, the Brockton Boxers. Yeah. And this kid right here that's at the uh, free throw line, uh, Sohn said in the first half, hit some big, big free pointers for Brooklyn. And you gotta give him credit. He left the game in that first half with a twisted ankle and he came back. Oh, we hit the bottom of the backboard. Ball loose on the floor, kicked around. Rito, Lambert for a long shot, hits for three. How the heck did that kid do that? And another foul. Boxes ain't giving up. Right. Boxes Shots are going in up. right now, but it might be a little bit uh, too, too late. Little, yeah, too, uh, too, too, too late for Brockton. For the Boxes, their next game is the 27th. They will be over at Archb Archbishop Williams. They'll enter the BABC tournament. So, and they're gonna tip off at three o'clock. Their first game's at three on the 27th. And that's Horowitz. I'll tell you, this Brookline team, they've got some good shooters on their team. They do. Good front court, steady back court. They can hit the outside shot, they can go inside. It's going to be a tough competitor this year for all teams. Coming ranked 12th in the state. Misses the second one. Rateau going to have to let it go. There's a long shot for three. That's off. And that's going to do it. Is it. I wish we had the, I wish we had the um, wireless. The wireless. Map. What we could do is we could get Coach DeBarros. You could talk to him. And um, we'll just grab him the other headset if he wants to do that. And then we'll come back and we'll wrap it up. All right. So if you want to coach, grab Coach DeBarros and Lindo, we'll switch out. Come, come on. You guys back. can just stand here and talk to him. Yeah, I, I think, like you said, Dom, I think Brockton, they just had a, won a big game two nights ago. They run into this juggernaut of Brookline High and they were just a little bit too much for the boxers this evening because the boxers had to come in with their A game on offense. They really did. Their defense was good, but their offense, they, they didn't come in with their A game. All right, we're gonna try to grab Coach DeBarros. All right. So, Lando, what else did you see um, during this uh, hard-fought game? Well, um, I just saw that Brockton, were, you know, they were flat. You know, they came off a big victory against BC High and, um, the shots were just not falling. I know they hit a couple of shots at the end of that, but it was just a no. just a frustrating night for Brockton. Uh, we're here with uh, Brockton head coach uh, Manny DeBarros. Manny, guys had a big uh, win uh, the other night, but 
to me tonight, it seemed like the, the you know the team was a little flat. You know? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think part of it, sorry, I, I'm just, I've been under the weather. So um, honestly, part of it was just that we talked about this complacency. And I think when you have a young team who's learning how to win, sometimes it, it takes a, a loss like this to understand that, hey, man, you have to put in the work in order right. to win. And we talked about that even yesterday, how we have a very tough schedule. And they have to understand that in order to win, teams like Brookline or any other teams, they want to beat us like everybody yeah, else. And to come in and, and play hard. Absolutely. And, and, and all I ask from them is to give effort and energy. And unfortunately, um, we were lacking in that today. We really were. Um, credit to Coach Williams um, and Brookline. They came in here after a tough loss against Needham, and they wanted to get a win. Um, and, they, and, and honestly, they just wanted it more than we did. And that... That's just not acceptable to be honest uh, with you. So uh, looking not. ahead, um, next week you got the BABC tournament. Yes. That should be uh, uh, telling as well because you got a uh, couple good teams you're going to play. So hopefully, uh, you know, it's back to the drawing board and hopefully the kids, kids come to play next week. No, absolutely, absolutely. We definitely have to get in the gym and just continue to clean up some stuff. And honestly, at the end of the day, just believe in our abilities. I think we lack that belief that, hey, we can play with anybody because we can. Uh, we saw that on Tuesday, but I think, again, um, having a young team and just p putting those pieces together, guys got to believe. Guys got to believe, and, and guys who are on the bench have to be ready to, when their number get called, to get in the game and be ready to play hard and just, again, do what they can to help the team win. So hopefully this is a lesson for all of us, um, and we grow from it, to be honest with you. Thanks a lot, man. We'll hey, see you next Appreciate week, brother. Happy holidays, yeah, man. Get well. All right, get thank well. you, man. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Thank you. All right, so we're wrapping up here at Staff Gymnasium where Brockton unfortunately falls to the Brookline Warriors. We'll see you next week, everybody. Have a good night.